Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about a super keyword in Java. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about method overriding and how instance the execution flow is going to check the instance variables. These concepts we discussed in our previous classes. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, we are going to use the same examples which we used in our previous class. Let's refresh the concept. So first we try to understand the super keyword is used to used in three ways in Java. One, the first way is we are going to call super class variables. Second one is super class methods. We are going we are going to use this keyword to call the super class methods and we call the super class constructors. So with example, we are going to understand one by one. First, how we are going to call the super class variables. Let's take this class, class A. In this class, we are having an instance variable int p is equal to 30 and class B extends A. See, this is super class and this is subclass. Whenever we are using this inheritance concept, we are going to use this super keyword. Now, we need to understand that in class B, we are having a variable called int p is equal to 50. So now in the method m2, we are using c is equal to p plus p. Means uh, how the execution goes, we already discussed in our previous class. Uh, it is going to check the value of p in the present class, in class b. Yes, p is available. So it is going to get the value from here, class b, p is equal to 50. 50 plus 50, which is 100, is assigned to c. Our output here is uh, 100. Suppose if the programmer wants to use the variables that are available in the super class. So what's the super class for B? It is A. If you want to use the value P is equal to 30. How we are going to use that? Using the super keyword, we are going to call the super class instance variables. Take the example. Next example. Here we have written as C is equal to super dot P plus P. So, super dot p, whenever you write this, it is going to check the value from the super class. See, if you are having multi-level inheritance, so super dot p is going to check the value in the above inheritance levels, the first occurrence of p it is going to get. So, with example, you will get clarity. So, in the above inheritance level, the first occurrence of p means, what is the inheritance level above this a? Here it is going to check. If it is not there, above. If it is not there, above. Like that it is going to check. It is going to identify the first occurrence of P. So above, we already occurred here P. P is occurred here. So it is going to get the value from here. P is equal to 30. So 30 plus P. P means going to check here. 30 plus 50, 80. So in this example, our output C is 80. We will understand multi-level inheritance for the super keyword. So let's take class A. In this class A, we are having instance variable P. And in class B, we are having instance variable Q. And in class C, extends B, it is going to have your instance variable P. So whenever you are going to use super dot P, it is going to check the inheritance, check the super classes. So the first occurrence of super class is B. Is there P here? No. So it, it goes and check the next occurrence of super class. Class A. Is P available here? Yes. The first occurrence of P in the super classes is this one is the first occurrence. It is going to get the value from here. That is what the meaning of super of P is equal to 30. So 30 plus here the output is 30 plus here it is 70. 30 plus 70. How much is the value? 100. So our output is 100. Suppose assume that, suppose assume that if you change this int q is equal to 50 to p, int p is equal to 50, whenever you call super dot p of, uh, from where it is going to get, it is going to check the first occurrence of super class which is uh, here if it is p, p is equal to 50, so it is going to get the value 50 down and it is going to use here, the first occurrence in the super classes, so 50 plus 70 which is uh, 120 our output is 120 so the, that point is very very important that's why we repeated two times now coming to how to use super keyword in order to call the methods that are available in our super classes 
so it's very easy once you understand the concept class a1 in this class we are having method m1 and class b1 extends a1 in this class we are having method m1 in this class we are having one uh, and one more uh, extension class c1 extends b1 in this class we are having a m1 method and m2 method in m2 method we are calling m1 off we are calling the method m1 from where it is going to get that method first it is going to check m1 method in this class if it is available it is going to call that method if it is not available then it is going to check the method from above class if it is not available it is going to check from above class this is how execution goes sir. but uh, remember m1 of uh, so first it is going to check here m1 is available so which class it is which method it is going to execute this method what is the output class c but if you write it as super dot m1 of uh, it is going to check the methods in the super classes the same way the first occurrence of m1 method in the above super classes so what is the first occurrence in b1 we are having m1 method so this is going to be executed our output is class b if m1 is not available here it is going to check above the first occurrence of m1 method in the super classes so this is how we are going to use the super keyword to call the super class method similarly we are going to use the super keyword to call the super class constructors so class box int length int width int height so box of int l w h so this is a constructor because of this is a same names whenever we call the constructors it is going to assign the l value to length w value to width h value to height so in this class box we are having a constructor and a volume method now class weight extends box in this class weight we are having an instance variable int weight of but we are having a constructor weight of l w h w t see here this l w h we are going to use these variables the values that present in those variables to assign to length width height instance variables but the length width height instance variables are available in class box which are available in super class so in this type of situations if you want to assign values to the super class instance variables we are calling super of we are sending this lwh values to super class constructor it is going to call the super class constructor so whenever it call the super class constructor this lwh is assigned to length width and height then after that it is going to execute weight is equal to wt so weight is assigned with wt l wh is assigned to length width and height instance variables available in super class but one important point you need to understand uh, the when in the constructor the first line of code should be super if you write it in the second line it won't work the first line of the code should be super of uh, then only it is going to work so this is how we are going to use super keyword in order to in order to call super class instance variables super class methods and super class constructors hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you